Little Caesars has graced us with a sneak peek of the Batman film. By far the most major adversary he's come across. The killer left this for the Batman. Why is he writing to you? I've been trying to reach you. You're part of this too. Gross. The Riddler seems to know secrets about Batman that even Bruce didn't know. Bro, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. I'm so excited. It's Gotham in a way that I hadn't I haven't seen before. Gordon reaches out to Batman, I think, out of a level of desperation. Unbelievable breaking news. Gotham Mayor was murdered last night. We have a villain in the Riddler who's all about clues. And also, the Riddler is addressing everything directly to Batman. Any of this mean anything to you? You're pretty good at that. Catwoman meets Batman, who's looking for a serial killer in Gotham. You new friend of yours? I'm not so sure. They're both people who fight for what they believe in. They aren't afraid to die for what they believe in. What's black and blue and dead all over? He wants to end up. Yo, he sounds so menacing. Bruce's secrets. Hitler's latest. It's all about the Waynes. All these years, you lied to me, Alfred. I'm just here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city. Penguin? This is all coming to an end. Hey, Vincent! We all have our scars, Bruce. Yo, we're like two weeks away. Now, if you were to ever ask me, who do you think is the plug? The one that has all the insider knowledge, the inside scoop, who's gonna give us a sneak peek into one of the biggest films of the year. Never, ever would I have said Little Caesars. But today, I gotta eat crow. I gotta take back everything I said about Little Caesars because they have delivered us an absolute blessing today. We have been granted an inside look into the Batman film. And I know it's only two minutes of a sneak peek, but for a film that I am personally very excited about, one that I'm very much looking forward to this year, I can honestly say that two minutes is, is more than enough, right? Because it gives us just a little bit of what we already knew about the Batman and a little bit more about what we're craving. You get looks at obviously Robert Pattinson's Batman. You also get inside looks at his relationship with Alfred, but it, it's what I love about it is this sneak peek is given, you given a little bit more dialogue and you're also given a little bit more of a look of, of who Batman is, Robert Pattinson's interpretation of Batman in this film, and more importantly, the overall struggle between his relationships with not only Alfred, but Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman, to the Riddler, to the Penguin, to so much more. And what we already know about this film is it's supposed to be an origin story, of uh, a villain story, a villain origin story of three of the main characters from Catwoman, Penguin, as well as the Riddler. And I'm not exactly sure how they're gonna do that, but that is something that is a very bold move. And if they can pull it off, this may inevitably be one of the greatest Batman films of all time. I'm incredibly excited about that. Definitely within these two minutes, you get a very strong look at Batman himself. In this one scene, he's obviously wearing the hoodie. He looks very dark, very tormented, uh, almost demented in a way. And obviously we understand that this version of Batman is definitely going to uh, burn a couple bridges and he's definitely not gonna be afraid to get his hands dirty and be a little bit more violent than what we might've seen even in Ben Affleck's Batman. But I'm very much interested to see how this interpretation of Batman changes our perception of him and how we see him after you know we see this film because I feel like in every movie whether it was Christian Bale you know uh, whether it was you know Ben Affleck wh whoever it is I feel like every time we see a Batman film our interpretation of who Batman is and just how far he's willing to go just how much he's had to deal with and mentally is is tormented it, it's it's seen and changed and altered every time we see a new Batman film so this one it's not just a different Batman film to me at least to me it's an it's uh, the ability to see Batman through a different lens and what we already know put those pieces together and be given something new and, and create an entirely new interpretation of Batman but obviously you know like I was saying we have the Riddler in this film some of the scenes that we already saw we've seen some fil very familiar shots but I really like how they add something different um, obviously you can see that the Batman is being tormented by the R Riddler obviously you know he the Riddler likes to play a lot of games He's, he's very good at the mind game, so he wants to get Batman's attention, and I'm sure that's gonna be a lot of the overall theme throughout the film. But, but not to forget, obviously we have a struggle 
with Catwoman. There's going to be a relationship forming there. Uh, I'm sure they're going to get very close, which I can't wait to see. But they also have different uh, motivations and different, you know, things that are leading them to do what they do. And seeing how that connects or otherwise, you know, creates a dissonance and a divide between these two characters is something that I'm very interested to see. We saw that back in you know the last batman film uh that we saw with christian bale um but you know we didn't really get to see a lot of that that version of catwoman so it'll be really interesting to see how this batman film really dives into that character a little bit more we could see their relationship form uh in a way that we didn't before um but i really love like every shot that they show looks amazing batman being dirty him being just kind of beaten up is something that i i love about the character like he's you know batman's not a clean character like he's out there doing what he's got to do to you know to to get the job done and i and i love that about him so i think this one's really going to show uh batman you know kind of being a bit more ferocious and that's something that I, you know has me very excited but overall, I feel like this film is really going to push the boundaries in a, in a very positive way. And while we haven't had, you know, many of us haven't had the most confidence in DC, uh, I think what we can say is that every time one of these films comes out and we see the trailers, especially for films like The Batman, it's hard not to have a little bit of faith in what they're doing and in the hope a, a glimmer of hope deep in the distance that what they're doing in this movie is going to change the game it's going to change a lot of people's perceptions for dc i can't wait to see the penguin i can't wait to see zoe kravitz in this film and i really have hopes that robert pattinson is going to nail it so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below obviously march 4th is not that far away i'd say it's about two weeks or so if you enjoy the content we'll be doing much more reactions and all that good stuff so hit the notification bell Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. And until then, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.